everybody and a very good morning from Harpenden in the UK. Today is the 1st of July and we are getting the girls christened. You may be wondering, oh I didn't actually know that you were religious. Um, well, in short answer, we're not. <laughs> um, a christening for us was a wonderful opportunity to get all our friends and family in one place. Obviously being expats and not coming back to the UK much, um, we thought we could basically just have a really nice party, have a nice day and like I said, get all friends and family in one place. So that was kind of one reason. And the the second reason is in the future if the girls want to go to a Catholic school, quite a few of the good schools back here in the UK do require that they are christened to attend. Um, so they are the main two reasons. Um, yesterday we had such a lovely afternoon and um, I am here in my mother-in-law's house. Um, in Harkinson and she's got friends and family staying. Um, so in the afternoon we had everyone over. The weather is absolutely glorious. Um, so we had badminton, we were playing outside, um, skittles, loads of like garden activities, the girls were running around and it was so nice because obviously the weather in Dubai now is so hot, you cannot do that. Um, anyway, I am going to take my GoPro with me and I'm basically just going to show you what a christening is all about, what happens and basically show you our day. So we are all in the car now, it feels like we're going to a wedding. Um, all they're excited, we've had the girls in their outfits which I'll show you shortly and I am super impressed because their headbands, their socks, their shoes and everything has stayed in place and they've been wearing them for at least half an hour. So long may that continue. Um, we are off to a Methodist church. Um, the christening starts at half ten and then, well, no, half ten we need to be there. The um, church service is at eleven and then the christening is following. And then we have booked a lovely space in a pub, um, which obviously oh. I will show you. We are so lucky because the weather is amazing, which obviously is going to make such a difference being outside in the sunshine. Um, the only thing is, if you had to grumble, is that maybe it's a little bit too hot. Um, obviously in England it's not really built for hot weather, so there's no air conditioning or anything like that. But I think I would definitely rather have it this way um, than it being cold and rainy. So um, we try tried to tie the girls out as much as possible so they went down for a long nap this morning. Normally now that the girls are one we have got rid of their morning nap and they have been sleeping for about three hours from one till four but I think because we're going to be in the pub there's going to be so many people and there's going to be so much like stimulation that there's no way the girls are going to go down for their lunchtime nap. So we figured let's get them really tired in the morning. The girls were up at six o'clock anyway, didn't sleep great. Um, so they had 45 minutes from nine o'clock to 9.45. So maybe they might get a half an hour in their pram um, this afternoon, but worst case scenario, at least they've had a good 45 minutes um, this morning. Um, so fingers crossed they're good. Um, they've been good this morning, but they're going through that stage where they're a little bit clingy to mom, which makes it hard for me, especially when you've got to. Um, but we've got loads of toys to keep them quiet during the service, loads of snacks, which always help to keep them quiet. And um, yeah, just fingers crossed that they don't start screaming halfway through. Also, I just wanted to say for those people saying that you have a baby that's not in a car seat, um, I know it is very bad. We've got one in the car seat and the church is literally a two minute drive from the house. Um, I know there's no excuse, but we um, are literally in the car for this trip and then we are driving up to Harrogate and we have rented another car seat for that car. So um, yeah, um, no excuse, but it literally is just for a minute or two. So 
So I haven't videoed the whole time we've been out since the christening because it's just been non-stop. And as you can imagine with twins, you never really get the opportunity to be on your phone and message. But we are now back home in my mother-in-law's garden. It is about five o'clock and we are having such a lovely afternoon. So we got through the church service. It was okay. It was an hours long and um, we had a few tears. We had to leave twice. We basically, like I said in the car, just gave them loads of snacks, loads of like toys. We had our iPads ready and that kept them entertained quite well. And then we went straight to the pub, which was just lovely. We were so lucky. The British weather literally shone on us today. The only thing, if I had to complain, I would say maybe it was a little bit too hot, but the girls were great. Um, they slept two hours, actually, throughout the lunch, which was great because that meant I had time to have a few drinks and chat with all my friends. The only stress that I would say I had is that I'd invited so many friends from different friendship groups. So I had friends from the, um, obviously friends from the UK because I am in the UK. Um, friends from uni, friends from school, friends from work. And um, I guess it was a little bit like a wedding in that sense. Like you really want to get around everyone. I also had family there at the same time. I had my godparents there, my mum and dad, um, my mother-in-law and all their family. So trying to chat to them in the afternoon. The day just goes so quickly. Um, but we did have a lovely afternoon. Thank God the girls did have a few hours of sleep. So that meant that I had a few hours to get around and catch up with everyone. And now we are just chilling in the garden and having a lovely afternoon.